Learning to lead can do so much. I mean, it can change your life. When I came to school, I, I hated it. I hated school so much. But as soon as I was joined with a team and I made friends and I felt like I belonged here, I've gained so much more confidence and I've been to conferences and I've met people from all over the world and it's, it's amazing. It had been running for about a year and a half beforehand but they hadn't had much to do. They'd had the memorial garden but there wasn't much more and then the polytunnel came about and it was a massive project which is so much fun. We managed to do it in one day. Uh, we had all the site staff and extra teachers and some of the uh, old sixth formers uh, who came in just for that day and we did. We dug trenches around the outside and we helped put up the metal structure and then we all had to go back to lessons and the rest of the teachers uh, were pulling all this plastic all over it. And um, we came back the next day to find it complete and we were just aching to get started. Teamwork is hard. <laughs> uh, working as a team can be the most challenging and yet the most rewarding thing in the world. I have gained so many new friends from this. It's, it's actually quite magical. <laughs> as an older student, it's very rewarding. Uh, when you get to go to conferences all over the country, such as Taunton and London, and you get to meet people that you wouldn't meet anywhere else. You'd, I've recently had experiences with the Hong Kong governors and convincing them that uh, they should have learning to lead in China, and you wouldn't get that experience anywhere else. My confidence, you can ask anyone. Some of the teachers that have met me in year seven knew how quiet I was. And when you get to year 11 parents evening and saying, she needs to be quiet now. Um, There's quite a big difference. Uh, it's not just in school. I mean, out of school I've had, uh, I started doing musical stuff and I'm now very involved in drama and music as well. So it's definitely an all round good thing. Um, in lesson time I can put my hand up and I can express my opinion and I can explain my opinion whereas in year seven I would be the small girl in the back uh, saying nothing but having all these thoughts it's not like I've changed that much but I can now I can now talk about it there's a saying that uh, one small group of people can change the world and it's the only thing that ever has and honestly it's so true in the future I'm going to have more confidence. I can, I can tell people what, I, what I'm thinking. Uh, I, I know that I can make a difference. If you left school with no idea of how to communicate with other people, if you left school not knowing how to work as a team and you'd never been out in the world and talked about how you feel about stuff, it would be very different and I think it would be a lot harder. I got involved with the fundraising team and I really enjoyed working as a team and I learned how to work as a team and then from then on I've been to conferences with Miss Shuttleworth and a couple of other students involved and I had really great fun and I took it a bit further and started the chicken team. The idea I got from the for the chicken team was from the Blue School in Wales. Um, I got influenced by how they started off the chicken team and how it was running really well and how they got more involved with the school and the school really like cared about it and helped. So when we got back we looked to it in more depth and we kind of like started off by putting a few flyers around and seeing what people think and stuff and then we got the funding and got everything up and now we have everything we really wanted and it's really good. Um, we got two crested cream legs bar which laid blue eggs which I think everybody is a bit oh what are they eggs and stuff but once you explain like they're healthier it's a lot better. And then we used to have a cockerel, which we got rid of because he was a bit feisty. Um, I've developed a lot of confidence and like speak in the classroom. Like in year seven, I was more of a quiet person, didn't really know what to say, didn't really want to embarrass myself if I got the question wrong. Um, but now once I've done that, I've had more of a say in things like around the school. And I've been to different conferences, met loads of new different people, like one in front of the parliament in Westminster, London. And I really enjoyed that and I met a lot of new people in other schools and what they do and it really gets you involved. So I've learned a lot of confidence to speak up and stuff about how I feel about stuff. So basically in our team we have, say, six members of our chicken team at school. 
um, they come along and they can just join us. No elections or how good you're at this and how good you're at that. But you just basically just get involved. Um, the more people that's been there longer, they'll tell you what to do and help you if you have any questions. And you just get involved in it. You more you have a say with your opinions, and you could probably bring new ideas to the team. So we're always looking forward for new members to come along and join. They bring a lot of joy because a lot of people are teaching like now they've noticed like oh how are the chickens and are you selling any eggs today and quite a lot of there's quite a lot of interest in them. Um, we hope to get a few more chickens that we're going to lay quite a lot and hopefully just keep building on that and make things a bit better and get some rare breeds in and so it make it a bit more interesting for people to learn because it could link in with different lessons like science they could learn about the incubation of eggs and stuff. I would really recommend it to younger students and they should really get involved because it will help them a lot with their academic work at school. It will really like boost their confidence and give them a bit more opportunity to speak up when you get those um, dilemmas in class. Well, I think I first became involved with, with Learning to Lead at Chew Valley um, at the beginning of year 12, so just as I was going into sixth form, when, um, when Amnesty International began to promote their Amnesty events um, where you essentially hold a sort of tea party for Amnesty. Um, and, uh, and I got together some, um, some people who I thought would, would want to be involved in that from, um, from my year and from um, the years uh, below and, and above me. Um, and we held, held an event and it was, it was very successful. We raised about, uh, about £200 from that one, I think. Um, and it was, it was a real confidence boost to everyone involved that... Um, that we could put on uh, something and, and that we'd never really done before and do it well. I think the the learning to lead uh, model is, is particularly important in developing sort of transferable skills because it a provides you with a framework. Um, you know, it, it's it's fine to sort of call a meeting, but many people, myself included, would not have any real idea on how to how to run a meeting. And learning to lead gives um, gives you that framework. Um, and again, the, the leadership aspect too has been uh, has has been really really valuable in in understanding how how to motivate people and how to keep people on on a project when when what you're doing isn't always the most glamorous, but it's it's still really necessary. So working with with, uh, with the holarchy, which is um, which is the model used in learning to lead, where there aren't uh, there aren't levels of um, I'm in charge of this and I'm in charge of you then feeling like you really are part of something and you're contributing um, through the whole arche and, and into your team um, it is, is a really good uh, psychological boost. It uh, makes you feel like you can, you can then transfer that um, to, to uh, exams or other work. Um, as I, um, over, the, over the next few months, hopefully go to university, I think the, the, the experiences I've had in learning to lead will be, will be valuable um, in improved confidence and um, uh, and, and leadership and, and organisation, but also um, for university work. You know, I want to study politics at university and, and being able to look at something from a from a different angle and having the confidence to do that uh, is is going to be really really important. Learning to lead is different from other school council models because it's not based on a hierarchy. Each student in the school is welcome to become a part of a team or to make a new team if they see a need for one. Students are valued as individuals and also as part of a community, so the impact that they can have is just as big as anybody else in the school. One of the things that's really struck me since September, since taking on the coordinator role, has been the variety of skills and benefits that are available to students through the Learning to Lead programme. And the training that students go through to be a part of the team is essentially one set of tools for them to use, to negotiate, to make decisions, to work constructively in a team, to run meetings and take minutes. There are lots of practical skills that all students learn as they become involved in Learning to Lead. You're enabling students to find their own skill set and to work on their own in a journey that they've chosen for themselves. And for the least and most academic of our students, Learning to Lead can provide a way of them really developing their own personal skills, their confidence, their interests and the impact that they want to have on the community that they're in.
In terms of the school, the benefits are enormous. The, the involvement that students have with the day-to-day -day running of the school is much greater through the Learning to Lead programme. The environment that we work in is, ben is benefited from the Learning to Lead programme. And the ethos of the school really matches the ethos of Learning to Lead, really empowering students to make decisions and become really active members of their community. I've really loved being part of Learning to Lead at Chew Valley School. It's amazing to see that the things that students can do around the school and the action that they're really willing to take to make changes and to have a positive impact on their life at school. I've loved the fact that my relationships have improved with the students I'm working with. I admire the way that they hold themselves and work in teams and I can see the real benefit that the programme has on life at Chew Valley School.